Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving my, continuing my, uh, Halloween watches, uh, horror movie watches for 31 Days of Halloween. So, I have seen a movie by this director before. I didn't care for the movie. It was, uh, Blackwater. Um... But I wanted to give him another chance. Turns out I gave him two more chances. <laughs> Technically. But I ended up watching it for one of my picks. The Reef. Um, this is by director Andrew Tra Tracky? Trocky? I don't know how you say his last name. This is His movies are based in Australia, the settings in Australia, um, so, this film, I had always heard that it's just okay at best, but I wanted to give it a shot, um, and I really wished I would look what I, my score was for these, because I don't remember, <laughs> hate when I do that, but, um, On the back it says, from the director of the acclaimed monster hit Blackwater. I didn't need no monster hit to me of that one. And unfortunately, this one's no better. So basically, you have this group of friends. They uh, end up on this boat with this, helping this guy whose boat is messed up, and they end up riding with him because their boat ends up getting a hole in it, if I, ain't if I remember correctly, and then all of a sudden, their boat flips over that they just fixed, and uh, fills with water and stuff, and is slowly sinking, so they decide to all but the guy who actually owned the boat. The guy who actually owned the boat stayed behind on the boat because he didn't want to get in the water because of sharks and stuff. Uh, so the rest, the four friends, end up deciding to swim to shore, even though, or to land, even though Kate, they can't see land. But they know it's out there somewhere. They just gotta go north. <laughs> it's gonna be there. Um, so, they start swimming. And everything's going fine. And then all of a sudden, a shark shows up. And it uh, ends up uh brushing up against them I believe how it is it like rams into them or something as they're swimming and freaks them all out or something like that I've tried to I'm slowly starting to block this movie from my memory if you can't tell and so the one boyfriend <clears throat> he's the little uh Boogie, little boogie board or whatever you want to call it that they're using as to help them stay afloat. It gets, they lose it. It's sort of floating over here away from them. He decides, well, I know there's a shark swimming around us, but maybe he's not here right now and I'm going to swim out and I'm going to get this, this board. So that's what he does. And what happens? He gets taken under the water. And... They bite his legs off, which you don't get to see. Um, and then he ends up dying. They leave him behind. You get to see his body get taken under the water by the sharks. Um, there's another girl that gets eaten, but you don't really see it. It's just one minute she's there, the next minute she's gone. Um, same with the last kill. He, it's just there and gone. 
Um, and that's just kind of this movie. It's just very slow, very boring. The kills are bad. You don't really get to see them. I like the cinematography. And I like the look of the sharks. And that's it. Everything else, the acting was okay. The acting was fine. I've seen worse. But outside of those three things, the story itself just was so slow and boring. The kills were just bad or like just nothing. It just disappeared under the water. Um, definitely not what I wanted. Um, <sighs> he goes for more. After watching this and my next movie, along with Blackwater, he definitely goes for mostly kind of atmospheric tension with his with these forms of movies. He tries to build that anxiety. He tries to make you feel what that scared feel that they're feeling out in the water. And that may work for some people watching these movies. But when I'm watching a shark movie or, a, you know... A movie like Anaconda, or a movie like, uh, you know, Deep Blue Sea, <laughs> Alligator, um, whatever. I want cheesy shark, cheesy creature feature. I want, you know, just not sci-fi channel, but something that's just entertaining to watch. And that's just not this movie. Um, overall, I gave this movie a, I want to say I gave it a 1 out of 5, I think. I cannot remember. I, wish, I should have wrote it down before I started this, uh, review. But I want to say I gave it a 1 out of 5. I know I wouldn't have gone no higher than a 2 out of 5. So, it's somewhere in there. Um, very low, though, for me. Um, so, definitely not one that I'm going to keep in my collection. I will probably let my daughter watch it because there's really nothing, like no nudity or nothing in it. It's something she, she could watch. So, I'll probably let her watch it at some point, see what she thinks, if she likes it. Because she's not as picky with her shark movies and stuff. As long as it has a shark in it, she's pretty much okay. For the most part, so... Yeah, she'll get there. She's only seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... So I'll probably let her have it. But... Um, but yeah. Cannot recommend this one. Chalk it up as another loss for this director. Um, but yeah. So that is everything from my review for The Reef. So please comment, like, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified for our videos. And we will see you all in the next one.